Hello. So we're going to do some work with perimeter. So perimeter is the distance around the shape. You always add, add up all the sides. Easiest way to do it. Okay. So we're going to look at this first one. We notice there's one, two, three, four, five. So we have a label of inches. That's going to be what we have. So we have perimeter equals nine plus eight plus six plus five plus four. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So then we just add it up. Nine and eight is 17 plus six. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 and 5, so 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 4 more, 29, 30, 31, 32. So 32 inches is our total here. So we check it again. We have 10, 19, 24, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So we are correct with 32 inches on this shape. Now this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this shape right here is a pentagon. Even though it doesn't look like the regular pentagon from the other day, it still is a five-sided shape. So then if we're looking at the one right next to it right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a heptagon. Even though it doesn't look like a regular heptagon, we have to add up the sides. So we have perimeter equals nine plus four plus 3.1 plus 5.7 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 and 2 tenths. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have all that. So now we start adding them up. So when there's whole numbers and decimals involved, I make it a little bit easier on myself. I take the decimals and I get a total. like that. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 5, 6, 14, 15, 16, 17. Drop my decimal straight down. So the, the three decimals, this one, this one, and the 8 and 2 tenths, all add up to 17. So now I've got 17 plus 9 plus 4 plus 7 plus 6. So 9, 4, 7, and 6. So 9 plus 7 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. Put a 3, carry a 3. So we get 43. So this shape is 43. So 43, and this it's centimeters. So we can check that easily by just re-adding. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 point eight. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 42, 7, 8, 9, 10, 42 plus one whole is 43. Easy way to remember that. Then when we get to the rectangle and the square, this is a rectangle is opposite sides are equal. There's a formula, two lengths plus two widths equals perimeter. So we have two times the length, so that's two times nine and eight tenths, plus two times the widths, which is seven and four tenths. So we figure out <coughs> what nine, nine point eight times two is, which this part is worth 19.6, 19 six tenths. And then we do seven and four tenths times two, which is 14 and 8 tenths, and we add those together. So on the side, we can go 19 and 6 tenths, 14 and 8 tenths, drop the decimal straight, that gives you 14, carry the 1, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, carry the 1. So our answer here is 34 and 4 tenths feet, okay? Big P, leave it a B, okay? So square is perimeter equals four S's, four times the sides, because we know the square has all the same sides. See how the tick marks are all the same. 
So we literally have four times the length of a side. That's perimeter. So we're really only going 5.5, 5, 5 and 5 tenths times 4. So perimeter would equal 22 millimeters. Now you could always just repeat add if you want to. You can do the same thing with the over here. You could go 7.4, 7 and 4 tenths, 7 and 4 tenths. 9 and 8 tenths, 9 and 8 tenths, and just add them instead of doing the formula still, you'd still get the same answer. 16, 24, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 7, 2, 8, 9, 30, 2, 1, 2, 3, 34. Bring down, same answer. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15, 22. The decimal, same answer. And as always, this is Miss Bobby, and I love math. Die, Kirk. Kirk.